What's up, people? Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to the home of entertainment commentary, dopest, most entertaining hub. Subscribe, hit notification. Yes. Yeah. So Karen Nyamu got. Um, she's now one of the nominated senators. So Banange, things move so fast, and actually, women who you think are nothing in the eyes of somebody that is someone that she's someone rates Karen Nyamu. <laughs> hey, enough to make her senator somewhere. Enough to nominate Karen Nyamu to be a senator somewhere. Things I'll never understand. So anyway, that's the I'm here today. Now, um, during her swearing in at the Senate, she was accompanied by one Samido. And Samido has a whole wife and a whole other family elsewhere. I don't know if it's three kids or four kids. And these two women, I think, were pregnant simultaneously. So clearly, the problem here is find X in the equation. It's that Samido. Now, Karen Yamu has caught lots of heat. It's like sizzling no stick because the girls online here are determined to bury her. They are calling her husband snatcher, a home wrecker, a home, someone who has no morals, like she's just this person, like how how do side pieces get elevated up until you know, these niggas act like, you know this is the wife and this man has a whole wife like people are really confused and it's mostly coming from the girlies now, for me, I'm just like guys, you know, I hate this kind of reasoning because it sort of feels like reasoning that should be happening with guys who were born in the 50s and 60s and 40s not people who are born recently. Like, I, I don't know. For someone to sit there and comfortably accuse another person of stealing a whole human being, a whole human being with brains and who, someone who made a choice to want to go there, be with this babe. And even if y'all want to say that this is the side piece, two whole kids, the man shows up for this swearing in. He is there. This babe is given this man's last name. Yay! Yeah. Things I'll never understand. I'm just like... How is that a side chick? Two whole kids. And when people are busy throwing jabs and shots at Karen Yamu, she's taking them and she's just like, y'all will not tell me ish because... He clearly wants to be here. And by the look of things, what about that? They're going to get baby number three, baby number four. And that wife to Samido is still there. So now, why this narrative sort of piss me off as a woman is the fact that men seldom catch slack. And yet they are the initiators. As I've told you, find X, it's men who are the problem. It's Seldom women, you know, because <laughs> like the same way this nigga pitched teeth, the same way this nigga is going to pitch eyes, the same way this nigga is going to pitch 50 other women. And when you're busy battling people who have zero issues with polygamy, zero issues with polygamy, you're wasting your time. You're wasting your precious time. You know, times are wasting because if Karenyamu clearly has no issue. Because she was like, Karen, Karen, what do? What's that me do? Ah, then she loved it. You know, it's very apparent. She has no problem being in a polygamous situationship. And her, the difference, because I think she started this at the same time with Abari, is the fact that Samido is claiming her in public. Bro showed up. Broski showed up for the entire, you know, swearing in ceremony in a suit. The man went there dressed, draped in a suit, a dhuti. Then y'all, y'all need to tell us that we, we are not going to, we are not going to hold Samido accountable. All this bull has to go here yeah, on Karen's lap. I even if you need to be serious. And what's funny for me, it's like that first wife, what's her name, Edith, I think. She is the one with this remote control. Like the game end. The game ends when you stop playing. Because clearly, if these two clowns want to be in the circus, what are you still doing there? 
Like, what are you still doing there? If you're rating and you feel like I cannot participate in this type of disrespect, it is super pointless for us to sit here and say, she's the one who came in and she get crushed and she did, 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 did two kids later. Guys. And you know, when we say a two men never know what they want, niggas know exactly what they want. Like, they are the most decisive people on earth. So if Samido was not interested in Karen, he wouldn't still be shy. He wouldn't have shown up for that ceremony. He wouldn't have impregnated her two kids later, beating her up, being in a very toxic situation. He wouldn't have been doing all those things. But he's clearly entertaining it and he loves it. And Edith, on the other hand, all she can do is take to rant on social media, but she has no balls, no strength. She lacks the courage to walk out of this disrespectful circus of a marriage. So all I'm saying is, can we please stop acting like this man a candy or biscuits to be stolen, to be taken? As if ni pesa. Kari wanome ni pesa. As if unafikini ni pesa na imiwa. Kutoka beki. It is you who determines, am I staying? Am I living for my own sanity? But as far as I'm concerned, Karen Yamu is that person who says, I ain't leaving, baby. I'm in love with your man. Your man loves me right back. And we are going to do this as a unit, whether you like it or not. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. Do subscribe, hit notification bell, and I will see you again in the next brew.